hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from the officer tatum and it's titled racist joy reed has met down over trump prediction to win in 2024 and blames him for 2020 you guys i'm excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about trump turned against vaccines even though it was his own operation warp speed that spawned the ones for covid he elevated extremist politicians like Ron DeSantis, along with junk science and disinformation and horse dewormer, fake COVID cures. And let's face it, the Trump administration fueled the crisis and botched America's response. Mm. And that is the main reason he was not reelected. And they knew he would lose because of it. By June of 2020, even Trump knew that his handling of COVID was the reason he was not going to win. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't get the St. Paddy's Day Trump shirt, you missed out, man. But we got a whole bunch of, uh, of other shirts that you could choose from. Tatum Store is just off the chain. Shout out to my e-commerce manager we just hired. He's been doing such an incredible job. I got to give him some props on that. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Let's go, let's go to some other clips that I have on here that I think is interesting news. Let's go with uh let me go with Joy Joy Reed uh blaming Trump. Clip six. But we'll recognize the need for change. And I Democrats, ten percent of them or thirty percent in the case of California will show up in the primary, and then the other seventy percent say, Well, I don't like those choices. Like, I mean the difference is is on the Republican side there is total discipline. The, a tiny fraction of them are Looney Tunes and show up and put these really weirdo people on the ballot but they know that in the end you just have to get on the ballot and republicans will vote for you how do you get democrats to have that kind of discipline because democrats tend to put goody goo goo you know real politicians and lawyers and people who used to be in student council they put them on the ballot i think i think she's i think uh she smoked crack right before she said that that's probably why it came out weird for her. But anyway, I don't know if that's the clip, was it? Clip six? Clip six? Yeah, clip six is the one where you took the vaccine. Clean. Wow. Well, as we mark the four-year anniversary of the pandemic, we must note that since March of 2020, more than one million people have died in the U.S. due to COVID. We just need to sit BS. with this number. For the love of God, we should at least remember it. Because history could easily repeat itself in a very bad way. As of last night, Trump and Biden are officially their party's presumptive nominees. So we need to take a hard look at these candidates, their records, their accomplishments, and the choice ahead of us. And yes, where they stand on the safety and well-being of every individual American. We're also in a unique position to evaluate these men because both of them have been president. We can compare their actual presidencies rather than vote based on their promises. Mm. Which era do you want to relive? The chaotic, frankly, insane four years of crazy tweets, migrant kids ripped from their parents' arms, random fights with our allies, and a million bodies in the ground due to COVID? The bodies <laughs> stacked up in refrigerated trucks because the hospitals ran out of room? The states fighting over ventilators, the old people dying by themselves and saying their goodbyes on iPads, the economy literally collapsing and all of us stuck in our homes for a year, kids having to graduate from high school and college on Zoom, or the Biden era, where the president is old, yes, and set in his ways and some of his policies infuriating. But at least he's sane and a grown up and capable of being reasoned with and pushed to change his policies, it is a serious question. Does anybody think that reliving the Trump era is a good idea or something America would even survive? What about the Americans who didn't survive? You guys, like Officer Tatum said, Joy Reid obviously spoke a crack before she went on uh, because I don't even understand what she is saying here. How is it? Trump's fault that the pandemic happened. 
how is it thrown for that people died from the pandemic when it happened all over the world america was not the only country affected by this pandemic but the whole world had their fair share of it i don't know why these democrats will go to any length to make sure that they pull donald trump down let me know what you guys think about what your read is saying in this video do you guys think she's high on something leave your thoughts in the comment section and let's wrap this video up you guys what would they think Trump didn't want to deal with a public health catastrophe. He didn't want to take the blame or get bad press. So instead, he spent months pushing crack science, taking advice from snake oil salesmen instead of public health experts. He mainstreamed the anti-vax movement, which is going so strong today that we are facing measles outbreaks among unvaccinated children. RFK Jr. is back, embarrassing his family and running as an anti-vax presidential candidate. Trump turned against vaccines, even though it was his own Operation Warp Speed that spawned the ones for COVID. He elevated extremist politicians like Ron DeSantis, along with junk science and disinformation and horse dewormer, fake COVID cures. And let's face it, the Trump administration fueled the crisis and botched America's response. And that is the main reason he was not reelected. And they knew he would lose because of it. By June of 2020, even Trump knew that his handling of COVID was the reason he was not going to win. Ooh, that was tough to listen to. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. That, I, I can't believe someone let her say that on TV. I, I don't know how Trump can't sue this woman. <laughs> I don't know how Ivermectin, the people that own the patent of Ivermectin can't sue this woman. I, I, I it, it is um, it amazes me that this woman is trying to say that d it was Donald Trump's fault that the Wuhan China lab released a deadly virus across the world. And the whole time he was actually listening to Dr. Fauci. This I almost called it a B word, but I'm trying to be a Christian. <laughs> this woman is literally gaslighting America as if we're stupid. Donald Trump, I think he should have took more charge in not allowing this stuff to happen. But he was listening to Dr. Fauci, who got on television and articulated that we should shut down this and shut down that, wear a mask, not wear a mask, not touch your face. And, and, and Fauci was under Trump's administration and Biden's administration. What is she talking about? Ivermectin has been proven to help in these situations. And it's not just a horse dewormer. They, they, they literally run a Nobel Peace Prize. Ivermectin is a legitimized supplement to take. I say supplement. A le legitimized um, tactic that you can use in taking it. And it will help. It could help you in these situations. It's not just a horse dewormer in a, in a, in a, a conspiracy theory. Joe Rogan already proved this. So many other people have proved it. I, it's just it's hard to even address all the stupidity that she said, but hold the phone. I'll Thank be back you guys for watching the video If you enjoy my content, I guarantee you you will enjoy Tatum plus brand new platform that we just launched Exclusive content behind the scenes of speaking engagements all the stuff you can't see on all of my social media platform We'll always have free content but the extra stuff for Wow, you guys that was such an interesting one and let me know your thoughts on Jerry's statement about Donald Trump I don't know if she's trying to blame Donald Trump for the pandemic because it didn't just happen in America, but it happened all over the world. Let me know your thoughts on this one. I really enjoyed what Officer Tatum said about this. He really cracked me up. And you guys, I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.